hello students in previous video uh, we have discussed the beginning of the the summer of the beautiful white horse today we will continue uh, with the discussion in previous time we have discussed that there was a question in the narrator's mind or the aram whose mind that is it a stealing means whatever the task or the deed uh, it is done by the moraj so was that a stealing there was question in his mind so that question it was uh, answered in which way that question it was answered here well it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing something else such as money for all i knew maybe it wasn't stealing at all if we were crazy about horses the way my cousin murad and i were it wasn't stealing it wouldn't uh, become stealing until we offer to sell the horse which of course i knew we would never do so here it is defined that it was not stealing why here it is mentioned it wouldn't become stealing until we offer to sell the horse so here if they would sell that horse and if they will get the money then we can say that they have that intention to gain something from that horse but here it was their uh, pure desire their longing and what is that longing longing to ride so here that pure desire uh, due to that this action we can observe then let me put on some clothes i said all right he said but hurry i lift into my clothes i jump down to the yard from the window and lift up onto the horse behind my cousin morad and now uh, at the time of down morad was there aram was in the bed and now he lift out from that and now uh, as per the morad's plan the plan started working and now both they are there and here who is uh, sitting behind and the aram is sitting behind the cousin morad that year we lived at the age of town and that year means uh, tribal communities you can observe that they may migrate from one place to another place so here that year so for that sake the word that year we lived at the age of the town on walnut avenue behind our house was the country uh, wine yards orchards irrigation ditches and country roads so here uh, description of that area it is here given in less than 3 minutes we were on olive avenue the place is mentioned here and then the horse began to trot the air was new and lovely to breathe so here atmosphere morning atmosphere so how the morning atmosphere here it is discussed the atmosphere it is discussed as the air was new and lovely to breathe the feel of the horse the running was wonderful so how is the feel that feel is here author is mentioning it is the wonderful feel because uh, in the morning time and now what is the thing happening here their desire to ride the horse it is now in the process and because of that means both the things suppose you wish to do something and if you are not getting that for so many days and suddenly suppose you will get that and then your 
joy it may not uh, be means you cannot measure that thing so it would be the uh, very joyful condition my cousin murad uh, who was considered one of the craziest member of our family began to sing i mean he began to roar now here moral's uh, personality is character trait in that one character trait it is mentioned that is uh, his voice all such type of things here it is mentioned like a roaring and then again new character here in the next passage new character uh, author introduce and what is that new character now every family has a crazy streak in it somewhere and my cousin morad was considered the natural descendant of crazy streak in our tribe means uh, genetically we can observe that some uh, they may behave like their family members forefathers and then the word here it is mentioned as a natural descendant of the uh, crazy streak in our tribe before him was our before him means morad before him uh, who was that person before him was our uncle khusro an enormous man with powerful head of black hair and the largest mustache here the description physical description of the uncle khusro and this uncle khusro's character is here comic character because of his statements so this uh, here we can understand what is that description an enormous man so that person would be very healthy like that enormous personality uh, <clears throat> enormous man with a powerful head of black hair and the largest mustache in the san jacquin valley so here uh, san jacquin valley's reference is given at the end one of the long interior valley of california so description it is it is given in the end a man so furious in temper so he was very angry man so whose character now we are discussing we are discussing the character of uncle khusro and that person is very furious very angry personality then a man so furious in temper so irritable and if something would happen uh, he may feel irritating and for us also such type of personalities are very irritable so impatient and such type of personalities do not have patience what to say when to say and how to say they may suddenly give the expressions and that he stopped anyone from talking by roaring and somebody Uh, they might have such type of uh, good manners etiquettes how to speak with any person but uh, this person enormous person uh, but his negative trait was he used to stop someone by roaring not with the kind uh, very gentle manner it was not the gentle manner it is no harm pay no attention to it and this statement this statement is the famous statement we can here observe and the same statement it is uh, repeatedly used in the lesson so we can observe that and underline that statement in your uh, textbook so you can understand that then it is no harm pay no attention to it that was all no matter what anybody happened to be talking about once it was his own son arak so here uh, now in this uh, phase two important characters here author introduced in the beginning so here we can observe that two important characters in that armenian boys so armenian boys here aram's character then murad's character then 
author introduce Uncle Khusru's character. And now the author is introducing the one more new character that is son. Means Uncle Khusru's here son, Arak. So you have to uh, note it down uh, that characters because uh, objective type questions, two marks questions uh, would be set on such type of uh, minor characters also. And Uncle Khusro's character, uh, you can prepare for the long answer also because this character is important character and all that uh, traits, dialogues and uh, the timing, all things you can uh, mention and how he was impatient in uh, expressions that also you can mention in your notebook. One more thing here. Once now here, narrator is describing the scene. And what is that scene? Once it was his own son Arak running eight blocks to the barber shop. And the scene is here. Where is the setting? The barber shop is the setting. Where his father was having his mustache dream to tell him their house was on fire. Suppose somebody will come and will tell you that your house is on fire. You would keep all the things as it is there and you may run towards that because there is now threat that what anything may happen because your house is on fire. But here what is the expression? This man, Khusro, sat up in the chair and roared. It is no harm, pay no attention to it. So it was his famous dialogue that he was not paying attention towards the intensity of the problem. So here negative trait you can mention. So positive traits and negative traits of the personality. So here uh, this man Khusro sat up in the chair and roared. It is no harm, pay no attention to it, the barber said. But the boy says, your house is on fire. So Khusro roared, enough. It is no harm, I say. Suppose the house is on fire, nothing is going to happen. Like this, this person, uh, Mr. Uncle Khusro is saying. He means as a common person, we may not believe on such type of thing. Or as a common person, we will also not react in such type of way. But this personality, this character is behaving in a different way. Uh, so we can think about this character and note down such type of different features, uh, different way of thinking, uh, the reaction how means how this character is reacting. So this all such type of features we have to uh, mention in your notebook because when question will be asked, it will be easy for you to attempt. Then my cousin Morad was considered the natural descendant of this man and my cousin Morad was also like means he was also behaving the same. He was also roaring means the natural descendant of this man. You can understand the Morad's character indirectly how the uncle Khusro was he was also furious angry such type of um, thing we can observe in the personality of cousin. Hmm, Karzin Murad. Then, although Murad's father was Zorov. So, one more again here uh, character it is introduced that is Zorov's character and that is Murad's father. So, this also uh, keep in mind. Yeah. Then, who was practical and nothing else? That's that's how it was uh, in our tribe. A man could be the father of his son's place, but that did not mean that he was also father of the spirit. The distribution of various kinds of spirit in our tribe had been from uh, the beginning capricious and uh, vagrant. So here, two important words, their meanings. We have to search in the dictionary and. Uh, write it down that capricious here means we cannot predict that how that character will behave so unpredictable and vagrant also uh, meaning it is the behaving unpredictably so such type of uh, characters here um, 
author is introducing or the narrator is narrating about the characters and how it is the characters are uh, who was practical and nothing else so here zorov's character here we can observe that person was a practical person practical minded he used to think practical and here again a man could be uh, the place of his uh, son a uh, man could be the father of his uh, son's place but uh, did not mean that he was the father of his spirit so here a uh, spirit in a sense that uh, how that person would behave is energy level the way that person uh, would behave in future so we cannot uh, think about that the way it is different so here did not mean uh, he was also the father of his spirit we cannot imagine so here zorak's nature was different morak's nature is different the distribution of various kinds of spirit of our tribe had been from the beginning capricious and vagrant and from beginning uh, so many different different uh, characters or the people their nature it is unpredictable here indirectly uh, narrator is trying to uh, reveal their uh, tribe and the features then setting uh, means in that setting specially uh they they used to migrate from one place to another place so earlier it is mentioned that year we lived at the edge of the town hmm? right walnut avenue then next what happened we rode my we rode and my cousin morad sang and how he used to sing with roaring so has like a uncle kusro how uncle kusro used to roar so this morats also uh, this different feature and because of that he was considered as a, a natural descendant of uncle khusro for all anybody knew we were still in the old country where at least according to according to some of neighbors we belong we let the horse run as long as it felt like running and here what was the joy the joy of riding the horse so both they were very happy and that was their longing their strong desire strong desire to ride the horse now next what at last my cousin murad said get down i want to ride alone and now everybody it is everybody's wish that i must go and i must ride that horse alone and that is the different thrill and here morat might be here at last my cousin morat said get down i want to ride alone and you get down he said to the uh, narrator or the aram and i wish to ride that horse and what is the thing here we can observe that is very important basic thing we can observe that is everyone's every human being is unique and that uniqueness always gives us that spirit spirit of doing something and that adventure thrill and that all things are uh, very important for the things then again one more uh, thing here it is mentioned we will go ahead will you let me ride alone i asked and now the cross question it is also there suppose you wish to ride alone then will you let me ride alone i also asked means that nine year boy he was also asking that will you also give me that opportunity to ride horse this is up to the horse my cousin said get down this is up to the horse means if you wish to do that but the horse should also support you means here nine year boy their grief all that things and to ride the horse it is not so easy task for that sake here in that uh, consequences we can observe you know, the dialogues between two armenian boys then again new thing the horse will let me ride i said now 
both there is eagerness from both the side he was also eager to ride the horse lonely alone and here morad is also trying to do that same thing now what will happen we shall see he said don't forget that i have a way with the horse well i said anyway you have with a way i have also okay then this discussion it is interesting discussion is going on for the sake of your safety he said let us hope so get down all right i said but remember you will got to let me try to ride alone and here now both uh, they are thinking that they will uh, do that then i get down and my cousin morad kicked his heels into the horse and shouted wazire and now in their that armenian language this wazire uh, he shouted and then um, the horse stood on its hind legs and snorted and burst into the um, furry of speed that was the loveliest thing i had ever seen and when you can observe in the uh, picture or whenever you will go for the ride when the horse will take the um, grip and when that horse will start uh, running fast then that thrill of observing and thrill of experiencing the horse riding here we can mention and suppose you are the uh, newcomer there would be fear in your mind that what will happen uh, am i able to manage that so it is also a some kind of difficult task my cousin murad raced the horse across the field of dry grass in an irrigation ditch cross the a ditch on the horse and 5 minutes later return dripping wet so here my cousin morad raced the horse across the field of dry grass uh, to an irrigation ditch so here setting it is irrigation ditch and then uh, dry grass all means his riding place here setting it is mentioned cross the ditch on the horse 5 minutes later return now uh, dripping wet so here 5 minutes uh, he was riding the horse and now the sun was coming up now it's my turn to ride i said okay you have done that it was your also strong desire to ride and now for me also now i also wish to ride the horse and now the situation we can observe what will happen this 9 year boy aram and how it would be possible for him and his thrilling experience here and what happened you will enjoy next now it's my turn to ride i said my cousin morad got off the horse right he said i'll leap to the back of the horse and for a moment knew most awful fear imaginable so most awful fear and that kind of fear it would be there uh, in his mind and that is here the horse did not move and there was no any response from the horse so here uh, narrator is mentioning that the horse did not move kick into his muscle my cousin morad said and now is the piece of the guidance this uh, cousin morad is providing to the aram and what is that kick into his muscles my cousin morad said what are you you waiting for we have got to take him back before everybody in the world is up and about means we have to uh, take him back because others if others will see then there would be problem they would ask that how you could uh, ride the horse and who's war so many questions would be there so before others will pick up it is our duty to go back uh, and take that horse and go back like that here indirectly i kick into the muscles of the horse once again it reared and snorted then it began to run 
I didn't know what to do. And when the nine years old boy, and when that horse will start uh, running fast, then that boy may not be able to control. So like that here, I didn't know what to do. Instead of running across the field to the irrigation ditch, the horse ran down the road uh, to the vineyard of a different color bean where it began to live over the vines. And the usual way, now it is changed. And the new here place author is mentioning the horse lived over seven vines before I fell and then it continued running. And now uh, this nine year boy fell down, we can observe. My cousin Murad came running down the horse. I am not worried about you, he shouted. And this is the comic thing. That is, I am not worried about you, he shouted. We have got to get that horse. You go this way. I will go this way. Now, uh, this boy, nine-year boy, he fell down from that horse. And because of that now, but the morals expressions are different because he was the natural descendant of Uncle Khusro. He was not thinking about the nine-year small boy, but he was thinking about the horse. <laughs> So my cousin Morat came running down the horse. I am not worried about you, he shouted. We have got to get that horse. You go this way and I will go this way. If you come upon him, be kindly. I will be near. I continued down the road and my cousin Morat went across the field toward the irrigation ditch. I took him half an hour to find the horse and bring him back. So here, it took him half an hour. So it was not easy task to uh, catch the horse, okay, to control that horse. When that horse is running and you are running behind that horse and to control and do that. So here, it took him half an hour to find the horse and bring him back. All right, he said, jump on. The whole world is awake now. Now the whole world is awake now means everyone uh, now they are wake up. So now we have to go. What will we do, I said. Now what would be the next plan? Okay, longing or the riding desire now we have completed means we have started that and at least little bit we enjoyed but now what is the next what we will do with that horse so what will we do I said well he said we will either take him back or hide him until tomorrow morning and till there is a wish in their mind desire in their mind if we would hide that horse somewhere Again next morning, we can enjoy the riding horse. So in implied meanings, uh, you can understand. He didn't worry and I knew he would hide him and not take him back. Not for a while at any rate. Where will we hide him? I said. And now uh, he is thinking that what the Murad, Murad would take the decision and the decision would be I knew he would hide him because he was also uh, having the same kind of strong desire to ride the horse. So within only one uh, day it may not be finished. So it may not be fulfilled. It would be there in their mind that again next day uh, they will ride the horse. Now, next what happened? I know a place, he said. How long ago did, uh, did you steal this horse? I said. It suddenly dawned on me and he had been taking these early morning rides for some time and had come for me this morning only because I knew how much I longed to ride. Who said anything about stealing a horse? 
he said. Here, who said anything about stealing a horse? Anyhow, I said, how long ago did you begin riding every morning? Not until this morning, he said. Are you telling the truth? I said. So here, are you telling the truth? The expressions not until this morning. Of the this expression here, uh, sarcastically again it is asked that, are you telling the truth? I said, of course not. He said, but if we are found out, that's what um, you are to say. I don't want both of us to be liars. All you know, it's that we started riding this morning. All, as here, all you know is that we started riding this morning. All right, I said. Okay, so instead of discussion, now the next uh, plan, they have to activate that next plan. And what is that next plan we can observe? I walked the horse quietly to the barn and deserted vineyard which at one time had been the pride of the farmer named uh, Pitvesin. So here one more farmer's name is mentioned. There, <clears throat> there were some woods and dry um, alfalfa in the barn. We began walking home. So here uh, some means narrator when narrator is describing the uh, scene in that scene uh, he is mentioning the places mentioning uh, the names of the plants names of the trees in that course and drive alpha alpha it is also uh, mentioned then we begin walking home it wasn't easy he said to get the horse to behave so nicely at first it wanted to run wild but as i have told you i have a way with the horse i have a way with the horse means i know how to tackle that horse how to control that horse i can get it to want to do anything i want it to do mm, horses understand me and here this is very important statement that horses understand me that how to how this person will tackle so you can observe that some in your also village nearby uh, cow or the ox or other also you can observe that if that person will go then the animals they are responding very nicely and there is no problem but if any stranger or if you are not habitual with that animal if you will go that animal may resist or may attack also so here uh, horses understand me how do you do it i said i have an understanding with the horse he said yes but what sort of an understanding i asked and now we are one is uh, thinking that I have that understanding how to do it, but that nine-year boy, there is so many uh, means there are so many questions in his mind, and that he was thinking that how yes, but what sort of understanding? I said a simple and honest uh, one. He said, well, I said I wish I knew how to reach an understanding like that with the horse, and now. Uh, he might be also thinking that I would also develop that kind, that sort of understanding and then uh, I would also enjoy the uh, riding horse. Now next uh, thing here we can observe and in that next thing, new character again uh, author will introduce in that. I went home and ate a hearty breakfast that afternoon. Now the scene is afternoon scene. My uncle Khusro, again the same character, uncle Khusro's character, uh, very comic, funny character we can observe. The Khusro came to our house for coffee and cigarettes. He sat in the parlor, sipping and smoking and remembering the old country. Then another visitor arrived, 
a farmer named John Byro and Assyrian. So here Armenian and Assyrian, two different here uh, words are there. Armenians are different and Assyrians are different. So this uh, John John Byro, the farmer, he was Assyrian. So this that word you have to underline and uh, keep in mind also. Out of loneliness, he learned to speak Armenian and he was also started learning the language Armenian. Out of loneliness, uh, he learned to speak Armenian. My mother brought the lonely visitor coffee and tobacco. He rolled a cigarette and sipped and smoked and then at last, sighing sadly, he said, and with a sigh that relief after getting that um, means the thing here we can say my mother brought a lonely visitor coffee and tobacco and then he was little bit relaxed after having that and with a sigh little bit relief now what is that question my white horse which was stolen last month is still gone i cannot understand it and now here we can understand that this person he is in search of the white horse and two boys means Armenian boys Aram and Murad was also riding the white horse now there is a question as a reader uh, now we can observe that this person he is observing about uh, the same condition and he is in search of the white horse and last statement it's i cannot understand it means how it would happen and how i will get that horse back my uncle khusro became very irritated and shouted and as per his nature as per his uh, furious nature it means he listened that and then how is the reaction the reaction should be different but how he reacted it's no harm what is the loss of a horse? Haven't we all lost the homeland? What is this uh, crying over horse? So here we can observe that both the expressions are not natural expressions as per common person. But for the this character, this type of character that is common for him it is same thing because it was his behavior behavior was like that it was his habit to say in any way so here my uncle Khusro became very irritated and shouted and it's no harm what is the loss of a horse haven't we all lost the homeland and now he is questioning in a different way and nobody would like such type of reaction when you are saying something and others are responding in the opposite direction so here what is this crying over a horse so why you wish to cry uh, this is not a good thing that may be all right for you a city dweller to say john byro said and for city dweller the city people those now you are living near the city uh, so for you it is different but for me so here john Byer, because he was the farmer john byro said but what of my sari means using that uh, sari means you can observe also wars and the sari or that such type of card you means suppose that person may be uh, doing the business using the horse and the sari what what good is the what good a sari without a horse so here without horse how can i use that means the poor farmer he was in uh, such type of thinking that if i would not get the horse again how can i use the sari and then both the things it would be problem again again now this uncle kusro may react in a natural way that is pay no attention to it my uncle Khusro roared. I walked 10 miles to get here, John Byro said, and I am in search of the horse. And here, 
he is saying that with a very pitiful uh, way he is mentioning that i walked 10 miles to get here john byro said you have legs my uncle kushro shouted so you walk means you have the legs because of that you are coming this is also one of again uh, one of the funny statement we can observe then my left leg pains me the farmer said pay no attention to it means he is stating the problem and he is continuing the same statement that is pay no attention to it my uncle kusro roared and again it is not in the gentle way uh, he is trying to say that but with a roar voice that horse cost me 60 dollars the farmer said and he might have taken that horse for the business sake and here he is mentioning that that horse cost me 60 dollar the farmer said i spit on money my uncle kusro roared and I don't think about the money, I speak on the money like that means that person what the person is saying and what is his reaction, a totally contrast reaction. So such type of both the characters here. As a reader we can understand when someone is speaking then the way of uh, the, the tone of speaking should be uh, proper. Then here he got out and stacked out of the house slamming the screen door up till this uh, the next scene uh, we will think afterwards now in the part two uh, we have discussed about the uh, important scene then how that horse riding and the, how they tackle the situation where did they hide that horse and the new character in that new character uh, uncle Khusro's character then son Arak's character Zoro uh, Murad's father John Bayro uh, farmer his character and all that expressions about him we have discussed so what you have to do read the story again enjoy that learning the story enjoy reading the story and in the next video we will discuss the next part of the story thank you